So I never really had like a hoe phase and I've never really been like a whore, but when it comes to products, I'm a product whore. Oh, snap! This is not even what I packed to go on vacation, but I brought down a few of my favorites, and you did too. Yeah. And basically, I just wanna talk you guys through a few of my favorite things, because I love skincare, I love hair care, I love body care, and I just love products. So just send, send us the products. Your products. Products. Your products. Why do you love them so much, babe? I just, I don't know, I love things. I just feel like the more things that I can have in regards to my skin care and my hair care and my smell good care, just yes, please, let me try them. And if I don't like them, I won't like them, but the things that I love, I love. I don't know, they, they can make you feel good. I know, when I was younger, I used to have a lot of products because I got a lot of products sent to me when I was younger and I would use so much stuff. And then something happened, I got in my 30s and I just cleaned out my entire bathroom and I just stopped. Well, I sure haven't, and I plan to continue. So, just a few of my favorites, right? I, I got a, a couple great things here. This puppy. This is by Iermetic, and it's a little beady scrub. It's fantastic, it feels amazing, it has a great scent, it's tingly, it's great if you have acneic skin. I'm sorry, what was that? Acneic. That's real? Yeah. So, I highly recommend this. Um, you like it, you use it. Oh, that's that stuff? Yeah, oh, it's in the shower. It's usually. in the shower, oh my goodness. Okay, so I really like that wash because when I go to rub it on my skin, the little beads aren't so abrasive to where I feel like it's gonna like. Yeah, it's super gentle. It's super gentle, but then I feel clean without feeling dry afterwards. I like that one. Here I have my Skin Medica Neck, neck Correct, I can't even say it. Neck Correct Cream by Skin Medica. And this is for the neck and the decollete, which is sometimes ignored. I really like it. I put it on my skin. So my sister, Mimi, is an esthetician and she got me onto this stuff. This is another Skin Medica product. It's called the TNS Recovery Cream. And the really cool thing about this, I don't wanna waste it. It's this color. I'm only wasting that much because this stuff is not cheap. Okay, something else that I really love, Vinter's Daughter. Ugh. You just don't like it because it smells like apple cider vinegar. It's like water, but it's great on your skin. It's yummy. You can just do like the pat, pat, pat method. And I, I kind of like how it smells. Let me just like blow through mine. Oh, wow, I'm chilling. Great, just chill right there. <laughs> then I have a vitamin C serum. It's by Naturium. Mimi recommended it. I like it. I put it on my face sometimes. So then I have this. This is a very thick moisturizer. It's made by Biba. Biba is a great facialist here in LA and she makes this cream. This is super, this is the cream that was on my face once when somebody was like, why does she look so oily all the time? Because this thing is thick. It's hydrating. I highly recommend it. If you have dry skin and need help. Then we have my Herba Viva Organic Deodorant Spray. It smells like grapefruit and something else, and it feels so good. Oh yeah, I like to smell her pits when she puts that in. It's, like, it's so yummy, jasmine and grapefruit, but I love putting this on after I've put this on, which is my Real Purity organic deodorant, but this is a great pairing for me. This is like, I don't smell. So like how long do you think it takes you to do your beauty regimen in the morning? And is there one different for the morning? Is there one different for the night? Yeah, I have two. They're pretty fast though. I'm not, even though I have a lot of stuff, I go pretty quick. I think I can do it within five minutes. So your morning routine is like how long? Probably like five to 10 minutes. And how long do you think your night routine is? Probably the same. Cetaphil, it's great. It's like, get it at the drugstore. It's just nice for the face. I use this moisturizing lotion often, I enjoy it. So sunblock, so much conversation about sunblock these days, and I have a ton. L to MD is one of my absolute faves, but I just started using this one. Is tree? I'm not sure, but I like it. I got it on Amazon, and it feels good. It hasn't broken me out. Speaking of breakouts, these buddies, oh my gosh. Oh, those are your new thingies? Yo, she'll come out of, you know, beauty care. And I'm like, what's on your face? I can barely see the pimple that was there today. So as you can see, <laughs> this is why I've used so many of them, but babes, guide me to this pimple. Okay, there. It's like pin the tail and down. Down, down, right there. Did I do it? Yeah, you did it. 
now I have a patch on my pimple and it's gonna just magically disappear. And I really like those patches. I think if I ever got a pimple, you put it on there. Yes, you are putting something else on your face, but it takes away the redness so that nobody's like really staring, staring at you. Yeah. And do you feel like it really gets rid of your pimple? Mmm, I don't know yet. It's but more just the camouflage. Yeah, and it also keeps me from picking, which is awesome. That's cool. So this eye cream is by Biosense. Bio, Biosense, Biosense. It's really nice. It's kind of like this whipped texture, but I'm gonna show you something cool. Recently, we had this conversation with this very awesome, very knowledgeable esthetician, slash, I call her like a skincare goddess, named Charlotte. And Charlotte has started this company called Do, D-I-E-U-X. These are one of her beautiful, fun things. And these are, sustainable eye patches because they're reusable. You can wash them and you put your serum or your eye, pat, your eye cream on and then you put these eye patches on. And after you put them on, the product actually will penetrate the skin deeper because this little silicone situation just sits here. But I feel like Charlotte is amazing and super knowledgeable and knows a ton about skincare. And I'm really excited to show you guys the next thing, which is a conversation that we had with Charlotte. Thank you so much for agreeing to come and chit chat with us. I'm so excited. I mean, uh, I love the DM, you're so thoughtful. So thank you for thinking of me. Of course, I'm such a skin freak. I just, I love, I really do. I love skincare, I love products. A great organ. I rank it up there along with all the other ones. It's Great. fantastic. Exactly. I want to try everything. So I'm so excited to be talking with you because you're such a wealth of knowledge. And Raven is on like the total opposite spectrum. She's one of those <laughs> people who has no routine, no nothing, and then has like perfect skin anyway. I used to have a routine when I was younger because I was super girly. I was like, I want everything on my face. And then one day I just stopped and I stopped getting pimples. So we'll talk about that. Yes. Let's Let's definitely talk about that. What are your thoughts on retinol? I know retinol is vitamin A. Should everyone be using retinol? How do you find the retinol that's right for you? So the thing with retinol and vitamin A is that it really depends on your skin. So for example, acne. Sometimes it is because of something that you're doing, but also it's not somebody's fault, right? It's not because your skin's dirty. It's not, which was what we were taught as kids, which is why we ripped our faces off. Sea breeze still gives me nightmares. Um, <laughs> that you have like hormonal acne, right? This is not your fault. It is or genetics, right? The way that uh, that pimples form, yes, retinol can be extremely effective in treating that. Um, so when you're looking at acne, you can get adap adapalene, which is um, an over-the-counter drug. The FDA has approved it. You can find it um, in different. Um, La Roche Posay also has a version, and it's like you see it. It's a drug fast. It looks like a like a hand sanitizer or a sunscreen bottle. However, when I see people saying that you should start using retinol in your early 20s, I start to get really um, icked. The reason being is that I feel like it's almost like the conversation around preventative Botox, where we're teaching people that they, they cannot age. You are going to age. I'm going to have wrinkles. I'm 34. It's going to happen. You have to come to terms with it. And also we need to accept it because it is completely acceptable with men, right? Like people are still putting George Clooney on sexy lists. And I'm like, Okay. I mean, what are your thoughts on, I guess, like the beauty slash cosmetic industry in general right now? I know you talk a lot about clean beauty and I just, it feels really overwhelming. I think as a consumer who may not have all the education you have, mm -hmm. you know, where to turn for truth or how to figure out what your skin or your body needs. I mean, totally. I mean, it's always less. You always need less than what you actually think. I think that's like the first thing is like, I used to have like 30 steps and it just wasn't, it just, my skin was like raw, red, like all the things. Like I don't get breakouts, it's just not my skin type, but I do get like perioral dermatitis. I do get um, like, a, like, a, like almost like rosacea, right? So like that kind of like very like sensitized vibe. For me, I think that there's nothing wrong with wanting natural products. There is nothing wrong with wanting something that feels like that that fits in line with your lifestyle. I think for me, where I like where, like DIY beauty, go go put honey on your face if you like that. For me, I'm not gonna do it. It's not my it's not my style. But if you like it and if it works for you and if it's something that you and your family do, 
please go do it. It's fun. But I think for me, where I start to draw the line is when you start scaring people, you start telling them that you're giving you and your family cancer um, or that you've cured your cancer with skincare. Um, and those are actually narratives that I've seen in big box retailers. And it's just, for me, it's just so um, irresponsible. So when it comes to sunscreen, if you had to pick your top two favorite sunscreens, do you have them or your top three? Yeah, I do, I do. So I do think that Black Girl Sunscreen Kids is probably up there. Um, I've been using it for like a week now and it's it's in the US. So it's like easy for me to tell people to buy it here in the US, 10 bucks. It's 89 milliliters, so three ounces. So it comes out to what, like two $2 and change, $3 and change. Wow, I'm terrible at math. $3.33 per Double ounce. Eight, don't worry. Yeah, I'm like, not not what I'm here for. But I think that's pretty accessible. And I think that it's also, um, it, it doesn't, from what I understand, doesn't leave a cast. Um, also, the founders are Black women, so, so I trust them, right? Like, they did some testing, I am sure. And then the other one would be Biore UV Watery Essence. Um, I think that that one is just one of those sunscreens where it does have a very strong alcohol smell, so everyone, like, freaks out. And I'm like, guess what? Alcohol evaporates, and all of those studies on cell death were closed test tubes. So unless if you throw yourself into a hermetically sealed tube after putting on the product, you're fine, fine because alcohol evaporates. But I've seen that product work for so many people and it's because there are these newer filters, right? So it's, um, I believe it's the Juvenal A, A Plus and the Tinosorb S, which are filters that we don't even know about here in the US. When you say filters, can you explain exactly what that means to someone who may not? Yeah, know? so when you're making sunscreens, it's basically about, there's a, there are these different ingredients that can help like absorb and stop the UV radiation. So it's actually like the sun is radiating right so it's radiation damage and so I like to put things into context for like people like me because I'm not a scientist and I'm like oh that sounds a little bit more serious than like you know even burn I'm like oh it's a radiation burn chic so these filters there are um, inorganic filters like physical filters right so that's um, they're called mineral sunscreens usually, but that's zinc, um, titanium dioxide. I don't know if you remember the lifeguards with like the big white streak on their nose. That's an example of it. It is a physical barrier. Um, and then the other kinds of sunscreens that um, also are made are called organic sunscreen filters. And so that would be like um, oxybenzone, homosolid, avobenzone. So basically like just filters that, you know, they're usually derived from petrochemicals. A lot of the conversation in the US is around mineral sunscreens, but I would argue that's because we don't have access to the innovative sunscreens. Um, and it's because mineral sunscreens do have a smaller tendency for irritation, even though I think it's like chemical sunscreens have 1% more likelihood of irritation, but there's a lot of myths around these two, right? Like with physical sunscreens, people think that it reflects light, it doesn't. Um, it absorbs at almost the same rate as chemical sunscreens. They're very similar in how they function. Speaking of myths, what would you say, aside from the sunblock conversation, are like the two or three biggest myths within like the skincare world, beauty industry? Mm -hmm. I think that more is more is one myth that I think that needs to end. The more products you use, you actually have a higher instance of like fucking it up, like higher instance of irritation. It's why I'm not the biggest fan of single ingredient products because when you start using a hyaluronic acid serum and then a vitamin C serum and then a niacinamide serum and then a retinol serum, there are ingredients like stabilizers, penetration enhancers, preservatives, like all these things that if you're using just one product, you'll totally be able to handle. But then when you add them all together, you start to get a lot. Like when I see like 10 steps in a routine, I'm like, I use like three to five. That's my max. I have a question. I have a question. Are you ready? Yeah. So Elon Musk calls you, right? And he's oh, like, God. you have, hypothetical. You awesome. have, no, it's not. This is real. Oh, Elon's calling. Elon's you. calling you and he's saying, I have a free ticket to Mars and I only want to bring you. And you're like, but yeah, but you can only bring three things. Now we're talking about Mars. Okay. So three beauty products or three, three beauty, skincare three things. products. Yeah. Three skincare How things. How far are we from the sun? Is there sun on Mars? Oh yeah. Yeah. I think Mars is like really hot. Oh, the yeah, red planet. It's really bad. I think you're like the red planet. Clearly I know nothing about space. I'm like, who's on <laughs> That. <laughs> okay, but you got three beauty products on another planet. Beauty products, um, not okay. products, not just creams, anything. Yeah. Oh, three beauty products. It's still, it would all be creams, actually. Um, <laughs> so definitely sunscreen, without a doubt. Jumbo, highest SPF, UVA, UVB rating, right? Love because it. UVA is what what gets you. Um, so that, I don't know which brand, I'd have to do some research because I, I would want like a hundred, right? Like I want like, <laughs> uh, 
Um, then I would say, um, if it's really hot, then I probably gonna be sweating a lot. And your sweat glands are tied to your um, sebaceous glands. So when you sweat a lot, sometimes you have more oil production. So that's why in the summer, my skin's actually less dry. New York, it's like ricochet. It's like really just slaps you around. It's like emotionally, the subways, oh the work life, the drinking, and it's then they fuck you with the seasons. <laughs> so it's just constantly being, being thrown around. Um, but if I'm out in Mars, it'd be really hot. So maybe I would actually, I would actually bring Deliverance because it's a cooling, calming, soothing serum, a really hydrating SPF. And then what else? Not the zipper, the new face, probably a face spray because it's so hot. The Jordan Samuel face mist. There you go. For someone who doesn't do anything, do you recommend like the bare minimum? Cause I'm probably not gonna do it anyway, but I'm just saying like the bare minimum. I think it's one of those things where it's like, does anything concern you or do are you perfectly content with life and how you look? I mean, what concerns me? Oh yeah, so what concerns me actually is body skin. Like- Do you have polaris? Like it's like chicken bum? Yes. Yeah, chicken skin. That's what I call yeah. my strawberry legs. Yeah, you can honestly just use, and that's actually where I would recommend the ordinary, just buy an exfoliator from them, like their 7% glycolic toner and just put that on the back. But you will need to wear sunscreen because the thing is when you, when you speed up cell turnover, what you're doing is that you're basically exposing new skin. It's not the ingredient that's gonna make your skin sensitive. It's the fact that your skin is just turning over more quickly. And this is where it's like, do people need skincare? No, but I'm older. I'm getting older, I'm 34, I'm still a baby, but like things are slowing down. So I wanna keep them at the levels where they were, right? So that's what I'm doing right now. So it's like, the thing is, is like, I think it's all dependent on what you're comfortable with. And for me, it's like, I don't do Botox or fillers yet. And I wanna be very clear on that, but it's just like, but it's not like I shade anyone, shade anyone who does, but it's more that like, for me, things are slowing down. Um, my skin's always been very genetically dry. So I do need a rich moisturizer. Otherwise when I smile, my skin pulls and you can actually see little lines and flaking. And that makes me uncomfortable. And that's that's okay. Okay, yeah. My my last thing is plug do. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, that is how you pronounce it. Plug do all day. The French word for God's Dieu. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to basically take the leaps of faith out of skincare. We really wanted to just show you what it takes to make our product. Um, why we're creating these products, how they're different in the marketplace, and how we're really supporting simplicity in skincare because okay. ultimately we want you to just be happy in your skin. Like that's all I really want for people. And when I started learning about skincare, you know, with like a, our, our head of product is sitting outside, but you know, chemists from SkinCeuticals and really kind of like understanding kind of how brands are built, we wanted to shake that up a bit and just be, try to, try to see what being transparent was on the formulation side, the cost of goods sold side, why we're charging, what we're charging, but also the science that goes into our ingredients and not like overselling you so that you are underwhelmed when you get the product. I so yeah, we have love it. Time, which gets rid of yeah. sheet masks. You just don't, because the thing is, is like sheet masks don't make sense to me. They're just occlusion. So you don't need to buy a new one every single time. That's something very much so that the beauty industry created, which causes waste. And then the next product that we launched was a hand sanitizer. And then we recently launched um, our serum, our first serum. I'm so excited. I can't wait to try all of it. And I think it's so amazing. I mean, honestly, in talking to you and hearing you, you're such a wealth of information. You've clearly done your research. You, you're pretty. You're pretty. It doesn't feel like you're trying to bullshit people. So it's like amazing. I want you to make all of the skincare and all of the different things. I can't wait for your sunblock. I think it's going to have to happen. Babes, I might use sunblock. Yeah? I'm working on it. We're, we're getting there. We're getting oh my there. Goodness. We'll get there. We'll get Thank there. We'll make so much for joining us. That was amazing. Charlotte knows oh so many things. I feel so much better about my sunblock usage now too. That was scary for a minute. The last few things that I have here, this is a lip balm that I love. It's by Terry. It's a rose balm, it's great. Another lip balm, but also this has color, is this Situation by Naturium, and it has this yummy little like cooling. I enjoy that. I think this actually would feel super good as an eye cream if it wasn't pink. And then I have these pads that I love. VH Skincare, my facialist, makes these, and they're fantastic. They're an exfoliating pad. You can use them three times a week. They do give you a little tingle, but I feel like it really brightens up my face. This is um, known as a chemical exfoliant as opposed to a physical exfoliant with the microbeads. This 
has the glycolic, the hyaluronic acid, and the salicylic, and they kind of like exfoliate dead skin in that way. Love. And then my hair journey. So you guys have heard me talk a little bit about like my hair thinning and that whole journey of insecurity and blah, blah, blah. And I've mentioned Parkliniclin. This is the extract that I use. I also use their shampoo, conditioner, and a few of their styling products, but I just wanted to show this because I think it's pretty cool. So the way that I do it is I take this, put it in here, pull out my serum, and then put this on my scalp twice a night, and it's awesome. And this is really my last thing. This is my favorite, favorite scent currently. The new company, it's called a functional fragrance because it's actually supposed to help calm you down. It has real chemical compounds. This is what it is on the front. Um, that's supposed to relieve anxiety and make you feel more relaxed and grounded. For those of you who watched our video with Nick Akato, and he refers to me smelling like chopped wood, this is what he was uh, calling out. It's delicious, I love it. New company, send me more. That's kind of me in a nutshell. It's a lot, babe. Yeah, I mean, and it's not even all of it. Do you feel like it's helped your skin throughout having all of these products? Yeah, I do. I feel like, honestly, what I'm learning is that less is more. Charlotte kind of touched on that as well. Um, but I do love experimenting, like I'm expanding into my sun care world. Um, but when things work, they work. But a lot of times your body can adapt to things, so you kind of have to like jolt it again. So right now I'm really happy with my current skincare routine and I feel like my skin is looking nice and that makes me happy. Yeah, and you know, when we go traveling, you bring like a lot more. Like what percentage of this is your actual skincare upstairs in our bathroom now? I have the right to plead the fifth. <laughs> Mostly because I'm really bad at percentages. Uh, I don't really have that much stuff, like I said before. Uh, when I was younger, I did a lot of stuff. I went from proactive, I had all kinds of acne medicines, even though I wasn't that crazy with acne. I mean, my skincare is really simple. It's barely anything, and it really only happens when I have like a whole amount of makeup on for work. And the one thing I use is the Shiseido Purifying Cleansing Oil. This is something that I like to cleanse my face with because it's a really thin oil, I feel moisturized, and it also cleans off well, and I just use like a really easy towel or rag and just wipe it off and I don't have to do that much. When I'm on these videos with babes, <laughs> I use this Cordelay Eau de Beauté. Cordelay. <laughs> and it's a beauty elixir. I, I enjoy it. You want some? It's a simple mist. Oh, yeah, it makes me feel like it's just hydrating my face a little bit. It makes me feel like my skin is just like, okay, now I'm on. For these videos, all I do is spray this on my face and I feel good. Now this, my humble, simple, and true deodorant. I love this humble deodorant because it has nothing bad in it. It has simple ingredients. It has no aluminum, alcohol, dyes, parabens, or artificial fragrance. But the fragrances range from patchouli and copal to frankincense to ylang ylang. And another reason I like it is because I can put it on my armpits, I can put it under my titties, I can put it between my thighs for the chafing people that understand, and it smells so good, sometimes I don't even need to put perfume on. She likes the way I smell when I put it on. This is Japanese. And this is a primer. A lot of people and makeup artists in my industry don't necessarily use primer a lot. You see that a lot in the YouTube videos, not necessarily in Hollywood. But I love this one. It helps to keep my foundation on amazingly. It keeps it super, super flat. I'm gonna just show you guys a quick little, let's see, a one, two, see, nose. Let's see, shiny, shiny. Oh, and it feels like silk. It does feel so good on the skin. I don't know, like maybe you'll be able to see the difference of how that just matted itself out compared to like shiny right here. I don't know if you can see it anyway. I feel it, that's all that matters. Laura Mercier, love her, love this whole makeup line. I think that this tinted moisturizer in almond 4C1 is definitely my color. I can put a little eraser head worth of this after my Japanesca and I'm good for the whole day. And if I go somewhere where somebody wants to touch me up, it does not turn me yellow, it does not oxidize in the, in the outside world, and it feels light and fluffy and I love it. Hair care, babes. Hair care. Hair care. My hair is what you call 
curly realness. I got all the curls, that's just the way it is. We're a curly kind of family. And I have been through so many journeys. I've had hair mayonnaise, I've mixed my own egg yolks and mayonnaise and this and that. And nothing has ever worked as well as We Dad. We Dad, their product line for curls, has created such a beautiful spiral, moisture, area, microbiome dome in my hair. I love their Curly Motion Triple Treat, sorry, Triple Treat Deep Conditioner. Sounds so yummy. This. I put this on and it smells. Smells like a triple treat. It does smell like a triple treat. A full triple treat. And sometimes I use the Curl Quencher. I also have their um, cleansers and their conditioners, but I like to keep my hair very, very moisturized because curls can dry out. I mean, you understand, you got curl life. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I am really happy that we got to share some of our favorite stuff with you. I'm really glad we got to talk to Charlotte. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>